been hearing a lot of heartbreaking stories about babies being shaken to death. It really doesn't take a lot to damage a baby's brain. Students at a Cumberland County Middle School are learning a lesson that could save a baby's life. When you have an infant who is crying and you can't make them feel better, or they're still crying no matter what you try, you might feel frustrated. These seventh graders at Good Hope Middle School in Hamden Township are getting a lesson not in the three R's, but the fourth R, reality. I wonder how anybody can have a baby and have them cry all the time, because that would just make me feel upset and stressful. I didn't really know. I've never heard of shaking baby, baby syndrome. It's okay to Using say that. Using a shaken baby simulator, students are. learn how to and deal with a fussy infant. They also use. learn the right way and the wrong way to handle a baby. It's the motion back and forth of the neck that causes shaken baby syndrome. Vision is usually the first thing to be impaired, and if that back and forth motion continues, right now, the, the brain in the simulator crying. lights up, showing more crying. damage being done, damage that up. can lead to death. Right, his and they can see the lights go off in the infant's head and understand the consequences that shaking that infant can't and not controlling their frustration and anger. A surprising and shocking sight for the kids. I was mostly surprised to hear that the baby would go blind and deaf and I didn't know that it could get so many disabilities by being shaken. That it can um, lose its sight and hearing and be mute. I never knew that. All right, the students guys, also guys, sign nice a job. form Keep pledging not to shake a baby. Educator. Not now when they might be babysitting and not later when they might become parents, no matter how frustrated they might get. Now, the Cumberland Valley School District has been using that simulator for two years now. It cost about $700. No tax dollars were used to buy it. It was purchased with a grant from the Eagle Foundation.